President Trump giving no indication that he's softening his stance on a border wall in his first national address from the Oval Office. Over the years, thousands of Americans have been brutally killed by those who illegally entered our country, and thousands more lives will be lost if we don't act right now. David and Sarah is a Heritage Foundation policy analyst for Homeland Security, and he joins us now. Good morning, David. Good morning. But Democrats say this is a manufactured crisis and fear politics. What do you say? You know, I think the president made a fairly deliberate case um, for immigration uh, fixes in, in all their forms. The president clearly laid out the, the human cost uh, of illegal immigration. And this is something I think we should all oppose, the fact that, you know, women and children are coming to the border and they're being assaulted and attacked um, because, because they're innocent and because they're um, more vulnerable than, than other folks. And we know we want to stop illegal immigration from impacting our own citizens. Uh, I think the president made a very deliberate case for a sort of all-hands-on-deck approach to stopping illegal immigration with all the tools at our disposal. Yeah, and he sounded presidential while doing so. And my, my question to you is that, if this is a manufactured crisis, as the Democrats say, at what point does what is happening at the southern border become a, a crisis? How bad yeah. does it have to get? Yeah, no, exactly. Uh, this is a case where, look, we're seeing increasing numbers of women and children, family units coming to the border. We're seeing increases in the number of uh, family units and, like I said, uh, uh, caravans coming to the border. Mm -hmm. These are unique problems, un new problems that we have to stop. And uh, the left doesn't seem to want to have to deal with illegal immigration. They don't seem to have any solution other than to say, let them in. And let me add to that, every week 300 citizens are killed by heroin alone and 90 percent of that heroin comes across the southern border. So it's an issue in that sense as well. Um, uh, Senator Sanders said the president, uh, well, that he likes to lie. Listen. Trump has told the American people several hundred times, and he mentioned it tonight, that Mexico would pay for the wall. That's a lie. If this wall were to be built, Mexico would not pay for it. American taxpayers would. Trump said that thousands and thousands of terrorists are entering the United States from the southern border. That is also a lie. Your response, David. Yeah, you know, I, I've taken issue with some of, uh, you know, the statements by the administration in the past because I, I do think that they haven't always been uh, the most accurate. But today, uh, or last night, the president's address, uh, you know, I think it was really making a compelling and, 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 and pretty accurate case for why we do need uh, fixes to border security and immigration enforcement. Uh, I, I didn't think that simply saying that there are costs to illegal immigration would evoke such a, you know, uh, I think, sad response fr from the left. And we have a meeting today with the Democrat and the congressional leaders, uh, with the president and the congressional leaders at the, at the White House. The president said, look, we can get a deal in 45 minutes. We saw where they, they both dug in their heels late last night making speeches, both sides. Can we get a deal today? Are you optimistic about that or it's past the point? You know, I think the, the American people are, are wants to see illegal immigration as an issue solved. I, I don't think this is something we can just allow to continue, and we do need, uh, you know, members of Congress from both parties to be able to come and, you know, wrap their hands around what is the best way to, to stop illegal immigration. Let's have that discussion. What does that look like, at least? If the Democrats don't agree with the president's strategy, let's at least hear what they, you know, would, would do at the southern border. Yeah, well, it doesn't seem like they're even going to talk about negotiating until the government's open again. David, thank you very much. Thank you.